In today's video, I'm going to break down the impact that social inflation is having on the commercial auto insurance market. Now, this video is going to be a little longer because we're going to talk through some kind of higher level ideas. Um, but if commercial auto is something that you're purchasing, something that you're struggling with, as I'm sure that you are, one, if you're watching this video, and two, because commercial auto insurance is a nightmare right now across the United States, hopefully what this will help you do is better understand what's happening and how you can make, possibly make adjustments in your business to keep your commercial auto insurance rates as competitive as possible while still protecting your business. Remember, at Rogue Risk, we put your business insurance on autopilot by helping you create sustainability and profitability in your business. So that's what we're talking about here. Sustainability and profitability. We want you to be properly covered at the most competitive rate. Sustainable, profitable, that's the deal. Okay, let's get on to the, to the work here. So I did have some notes and printed out uh, part of a story that I wanna talk through. So what, first of all, let's talk about what is social inflation in general. These are the kind of uh, more cosmetic or socially related issues uh, that are impacting the cost of the commercial auto market. And there's three in particular. The first is uh, litigation funding. So there is a massive amount of increased litigation that is happening, which just means there are lawsuits going on all over the place. Things that used to be simply just accidents that were then being, you know, kind of uh, uh, a claim was occurring, right? And then there was just a distribution from the insurance company based on who was at fault or whatever, but payments were made, claims were settled, and everyone went on. These things are now more and more often being escalated to full out lawsuits and having litigation attached to them, which is just driving up the cost of an accident, and it is brutal. Um, tort reform rollbacks, which means reform that was put in place to put limits on the amount of these litigations, both in frequency, who could sue who, the total amounts that they could actually get from lawsuits, those are being rolled back, uh, particularly in um, more, uh, well, we'll just say blue states are rolling back those reforms, which are just, you know, I guess in the name of like, I don't know, <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't understand why some of these decisions are made, but they are, and what it's doing is allowing people to sue for crazy amounts of money. So uh, claims that may have been settled for $250,000 are now being settled for a million and a million and a half with all the litigation that goes along, and that just pushes rates up because the insurance company has to pay that, right? If you have a policy, you're not paying that, the insurance company's paying that, and if the insurance company used to only pay $250,000 for a certain type of accident, and now they're paying a million dollars for that accident, that money's gotta come from somewhere, and unfortunately, it's being pushed back onto uh, commercial auto insurance policy holders because there's no place else for them to get that money from. Um, and last but not least, the general public sentiment towards corporations, right? It's corporations are the evil monsters. Doesn't matter if that corporation is a small business, middle market business, or a Fortune 500. They're looking at all businesses, all corporations. It's kind of this anti-capitalist movement where you are uh, the big bad wolf and if, if you're responsible for something, people have no problem coming after you because the assumption is if you're a business, then you are made of money and, and uh, they, you know, the individual can, can go after you um, uh, to their full extent. And that's that, that willingness to come after corporations uh, with almost like a, like a hatred has, has just driven up lawsuits. People are more willing and more, lawyers are more willing to take these claims to court and escalate them, which is increasing the amount of payments and increasing the frequency of litigation that carriers actually have to go to. There just aren't as many settlements. And for all these reasons, commercial auto insurance is jumping through the roof. So um, that's bad news. You know, some of the some of the stats that we see, like, you know, there was um, the median cost of a uh, of a major verdict was uh, jumped from uh, jumped 35 percent. Sorry, I butchered that number. Jumped 35 percent just in the last year. So you're seeing a major jump in the cost to settle claims or uh, how claims are adjudicated. Just unless you're 35%, I mean, that is freaking nuts. And it, that's what the cost is. So, okay, so I did say that there were some ways that you could mitigate 
these things. And it's not gonna be rocket science, but it's things to think about because ultimately, if you have vehicles that the business owns, you have to have commercial auto insurance. It's mandated by the states in most cases, as well as just, you know, you don't wanna pay for these really large claims out of your own pocket. You wanna make sure that you're protected. Remember, insurance is about sustainability and profitability. So uh, there is an elevated accident frequency that's happening. Now, part of this is the labor shortage has created a lack of experienced drivers for commercial auto vehicles. So you have inexperienced drivers on the road more often that are getting in claims more frequently. Now, the first thing you can do is just train these people, train them more, train them heavy, try to get experienced drivers, do ride-alongs if possible. There are uh, companies in the commercial auto space, if you're in trucking, a company might be Coverwell, they're putting dash cams in, right? cams that both watch the driver and watch the road and all that kind of stuff. And what these cams do is when a camera is put into a truck and a truck, uh, in this case, we're talking about truck drivers, not, you know, kind of other commercial auto, but in this case, truck drivers, when they're being watched, claims come down exponentially because now they know there is a record of what they're doing. If they feel, and, and what, they're think, what they're seeing is if they feel sleepy, if they're tired, if they're distracted, they're more apt to pull over, take a break, go get a coffee or something, pull themselves back together because they know they're being recorded. As much as being recorded is annoying and a lot of truck drivers respond that it is kind of annoying or a nuisance to have this camera pointing in your face, it drastically reduces the number of claims when a company puts these types of systems into their vehicles. So something to consider there. There is a greater severity, we already kind of talked about that, but just in general, severity of claims has drastically increased. Again, this is training, having proper uh, techniques, doing maintenance on vehicles, making sure vehicles, you know, have, you know, you're getting the brakes looked at and you're getting all the different features. I'm not doing justice what needs to be done to keep a, a commercial vehicle intact, but, um, and last but not least, violations. Commercial auto vehicle violations have 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 risen. Oh, I'm trying to find the number here. Um, with the, the top violations are um, uh, have to do with the fact that people have poor driver history. There's no in-house guidelines or systems, and that uh, fatigued drivers, overburdened drivers. And again, this comes back to the later labor shortage and a little bit the supply chain shortage. The drivers are just overtaxed, overworked, pulling double shifts. And when that happens, they forget to put their blinker on, they run a red light, they drive a little too fast, they brake a little too short. All these kinds of things happen. Now, again, you're running a business. The last thing you want to think about is all these kind of training and systems. But guys, commercial auto is going to be one of those places where you can have the largest increases in year to year commercial premium. So if you can put into effect even a few of the training, a few of the systems, processes, procedures, regulations, whatever, like ride alongs, more driver training, all that kind of stuff. If you could put a few of these items in and it reduces the number of violations that you have or the number of accidents that you have, in any capacity, you're gonna be saving money. Because coupled with the overall rising increase of claims with the, the, the fact that both accidents and violations have drastically increased for commercial auto vehicles, um, rates are getting crazy and I don't wanna see that happen to you. So if you have questions about commercial auto insurance, if you need commercial auto insurance, if you're looking for a broker, this, this, this type of relationship is something that you'd like to have with your broker. We'd love to work with you. We work in all 50 states. Uh, we put business insurance on autopilot for you by creating sustainability and an increase in profitability in your business. And uh, wherever you are, we'll be happy to work with you. You can give us a call, 518-960-6600. Uh, you can email us at gorogue at roguerist.com. You can visit us online at roguerist.com or I'm sure there's a button or link somewhere around this video that'll let you contact us. Whichever way you choose, we look forward to working with you.